In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic sales script using a combination of Canvas and client scripting. You can see here I've got this awesome sales script which is going to help the salesperson close a lot of deals. They're going to very easily be able to sell Cybertrucks based on this. It's using a sales technique I like to call the playing hard to get model where you just pretend that you're so snowed under that they can't actually talk to you so you encourage them to call you back you can't call them back, they have to call you back. The tricky part is how do we fill in the number to call them back? Let's say we have 20 different salespeople and they each have a different phone number. I'll show you using client script how to do that. If we reload the page, we'll see that the number initially shows as a placeholder, which will say callback number. And then after we load some data from the Zoho CRM API, we're able to fill it in with the correct number for that salesperson. I'll give it a second or two and we'll see that switch from callback number to a number starting with plus one. There we go. The way that I did this was I've set up a canvas and it's not a very good canvas. I had some problems. I couldn't get it to appear within the tab menu. You probably want yours to not just have this for the whole canvas, you probably also want to show emails and tasks and the record details. But anyway, we're focusing on the script in this video. What we've got, we've got a client script where we're able to, using $CRM, we're able to get the user ID first, and then using zdk.apps.crm, we're able to then call the Zoho CRM API. The first thing we do is we get the data for that user. And um, do some debugging here so you can see what's in there. Basically, that allows us to get whatever's in the user profile, which will be helpful. Because the other thing that we do is we search in the Twilio from numbers module to see whether any of those phone numbers are owned by this user. And if they are, then we use the phone number from that record. But as a fallback, we also get it from the user profile. And if there's no Twilio from number records, then we can fall back to the whatever's in the user profile. Let's do some logging, see what we get out of this. So here if I search for from, I've got the log data here, and it's actually in a really easy to use format where it, it's an array of the records. And then for some reason they put an underscore at the start of the API name, but that's all good, we can work with that. And then if we look at the user data, see that's the same kind of deal that, again, we've got the underscore there, but we're able to get the phone and we could get the mobile if it was set. This is pretty cool actually. By using zdk.apps.crm, we can pretty much do anything within a canvas then. We can do any API call we like, and display pretty much anything on the screen. The only thing to be mindful of is that there is a bit of a delay when you first load it. It might take a second or two to load the data. Therefore, you do want to have some kind of loading indicator. You can have a, a placeholder initially. The final thing I'll show you is what my canvas looked like. Very basic. Like I said, I was trying to have tabs up the top, but I couldn't get that to work. But basically, what I've done here is this is an you go to elements, this is a text element, and then I've given it an element ID. And that's what allows us in the client script to be able to set the content for that text element. Hopefully that helps you to create your own dynamic canvas view.